So our organization is the EWE Foundation, um, the Elijah Wayne Edwards Foundation. Um, we, our goal is to just bridge the gap between diagnosis delivery and care coordination. Um, we do a lot of that by just raising awareness about trisomy 18. Um, we, we have grown so fast and so unexpectedly. Um, we, we host community uh, conversations uh, through webinars. Um, we actually got started during the pandemic or right before the pandemic. Um, and so we have been in the virtual space and it's, it's been good for us. So we've kind of stayed there. Uh, but we do host webinars and conversations to kind of raise awareness about trisomy 18, to really talk about advocacy and what that looks like, what it means. Um, we do have some, some focus areas, um, child abuse and neglect prevention, you know, to just kind of speak to the reality that children with special health needs are more likely to be abused and neglected than, than their peers who are not. Um, so we have different campaigns that we, we push and promote. Um, we have our comfort care, which is a, a, a form of support for the family who may be looking for some one-on-one -on -one conversation, um, you know, not necessarily a group setting. Um, we can provide those conversations. We have mental health support. Um, you know, well, we just really go out into the community. We have a partnership with our local school district to just raise awareness about mental health. Our goal is to highlight the additional burden of um, mental health challenges that can arise in families with special health needs, especially when siblings are at play, um, because a lot of times parents are spending all of their time on the child with special health needs. And so it's very easy to miss something that one of your other children may be going through. So we really push mental health awareness and just normalizing those conversations, um, especially among youth. Um, and then we have our financial support system for families with trisomy 18. Um, it's really to just try to remove some of the financial hardship, the financial burden that comes with the diagnosis. We know that insurance doesn't cover everything. Everybody doesn't have secondary insurance um, like Medicaid or another secondary policy. Um, so we do try to, to offset some of the cost um, um, that families may experience, whether that's durable medical equipment or, you know, a utility bill because you're just struggling this, this month or something. And so, so those are a lot of, um, those are the core programs that we have. We do have a few other um, initiatives that we, that we do, um, know your family history, um, kind of like Kareem said, when we got our diagnosis, we started trying to question you know, who in the family may have had something and we didn't know about it. So we do have a Know Your Family History campaign as well that just really promotes talking about family history, not being afraid to ask those questions about diagnosis that you heard, you know, your grandma talking about or somebody talking about, but you didn't explore. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's really the premise. Then of course we have, we really building relationships with the healthcare system. We want to change the narrative about trisomy 18. We want to use our story for the healthcare system so, to see trisomy 18 in action. Um, and so we do uh, raise awareness about trisomy 18 um, in the healthcare space as well. We started out specifically for trisomy 18 families. Right. And, um, you know, just over the course of, we just celebrated our fourth year, just over the course of four years, we have found ourselves um, um, helping trisomy 18 families, but also helping families with other special needs, um, rare diseases or not, helping families, you know, navigate the IEP process through the school system. Um, and thus, that's really how we build our program. And um, we look at where we are with Elijah, and, you know, this may be a resource that a family could, could appreciate, you know, understanding the IEP process, for example. And so we put that into the, the information that we share. And then you, that's just another community of people who, um, who find your resources valuable. And so we, we still are a rare disease organization, but we are providing support to anyone who needs it. Right.